I'm Krista Jacobson, headmistress of the Buddha Di Dojo, and today I'm going to make a quick video to try to explain a few things that's happened within the last couple days and um, hopefully clear a lot of the questions that are out there, okay? The question everybody wants to know is, am I, tra am I a transgendered woman? Yes, I'm a transgendered woman. Um, I've never denied it. Anybody who's ever asked me that question, I've told them that. Um, I don't see that that's a problem. I don't know why I have to make a video to explain this to people. Um, but for some reason, so many people are so involved and they want to know everything about my personal life, which I think is completely unfair. Um, I, I think it's unfair that people poke and prod in other people's personal life and throw it out there to the public so everyone knows everything. Um, yet, they don't really talk about their personal life and they don't talk about the things they support. They try to hide that away from people. You know, and I just don't think that's fair that, you know, I am a public figure in the martial arts, I am very successful, I do have a school, I am the headmistress of my own dojo, and I just don't think that it's appropriate for people to slander, hate, and harass me over and over again about my, uh, about my gender. So I'm going to take this time right now to explain a few things, and hopefully I'll clear up some of the smoke and some of the questions that a lot of people have, okay? In 2004, um, I had already completed all the requirements needed to have um, what's called transgender surgery or um, gender reassessment surgery. So um, that's why you guys see my email that says Girl Ninja 2004, Budo Roo started in 2004. I had a lot of changes at that time. Um, I was miserable. I owned a health club. I was very successful. Um, I made a lot of money. Uh, I made a lot of money at my health club. I was a very successful personal trainer. Um, I was always in the newspaper for one of the best you know, um, health clubs in Kansas City and things like that, and uh, and you, and even though all the money I was making, I was, I was miserable. Um, every time I looked in the mirror, I just thought I was looking at a lie, you know, and uh, in in my heart, you know, and it just, I didn't want, I didn't want that. So I went through the transition, and um, then there's a transition that you go through, and in 2004. Um, I had the I had the surgery uh, to become a woman. To start this story, um, there was a couple things that happened during that year that me and my wife uh, both agreed on at the same time. Um, the woman that I'm with now, as you guys see on Facebook, um, anyone who's came to the school here knows she makes the cookies and she makes all the breakfast for everybody at the camps and she brings the pizza at the event and uh, you know, uh, Char, she is a wonderful woman. And, um, you know, this year you guys saw on Facebook, she was teacher of the year at the high school. You know, she's an English teacher. And um, anyway, we agreed that it would be better um, if we were going to have a child. It would be better to raise the child in a house, an environment with two women, rather than have a child and then raise her and then make the child have to see this, this transition. So um, what the plan was and what we had done was... After her first three months, um, after her first three months, uh, trimester was over and everything was good. I went up north. Uh, I'm just going to say that I went up north and um, had this and had uh, the surgery done. That was in 2004. Six months later, uh, in uh, November, November 11th, uh, my daughter was born and. Um, so that year was a lot of changes for us. It was a lot. I had started the Budo Di Dojo. Um, you know, I. I had transitioned. I had changed my name to uh, Krista, Krista Jacobson. Um, you know, she, her and I had had a, a child together. We're still happily married. Um, uh, just, even though people want to make fun of me and my marriage and they try to make fun of my gender, um, gender reassessment surgery does not annul a marriage. So, yes, I'm a woman. Yes, I've done everything I need to do. But um, just because um, I've had a surgery, that doesn't mean Kansas is not going to um, see that me and Shar are not still legally together. We are still legally together. But um, so yes, 2004 was a big change. Uh, was a big, big, big um, change for me in a lot of ways. I wanted to live my life to be happy. I was tired of being miserable. Um, my goal was to teach martial arts the way that I learned them. You know, not with the politics, not with all the crap, to accept any student for who they are. You know, whatever the, whatever they want to try to obtain uh, or, or get out of life, I wanted to help them. So um, that's what the Budo really is. And um, so I started doing that. I closed down my health club, which at first, uh, 
At first, in my heart, I thought it was a great thing, you know. I'm shutting down my health club. I'm going to start a martial arts school. And, uh, man, I'll tell you what, it was kind of rough at the beginning because, um, you know, I got accustomed to a certain way of life financially that the health club provided. And, you know, it was really rough, you know. And, um, you know, Shar having a, having a baby, and, we have, you know, now we have a family. And um, I'm starting a new school, and I've got all these things going on. And, you know, it was a lot of change. Sure. For me, it was changing for the better. Um, I was I was being the person that I knew I was. I, I was being the woman that I always wanted to be. I had a family. I had someone that loved me. You know, I, I was starting my own business with martial arts. Um, everything was going so good, you know. And I did not want to go back to that dark part of my life. And um, which which that's the reason why I was given the title Anshu. Um, Anshu actually means dark master. And uh, Kobayashi Sensei gave me that title because he felt it's supposed to be your biggest strength and your biggest weakness. That's what a, um, the, uh, the warrior name is supposed to represent. It's supposed to be the, your biggest strength, your biggest attribute, and also your, the biggest weakness that uh, could be used against you. And Sensei was saying that even though that dark part of your life it's the, the, can be seen as your biggest weakness, it's your biggest strength. Because you've mastered that part of your life, because you've moved forward and you've persevered, you have wrung yourself from the darkness, and uh, that's what Anshu means. So I'm honored when I have someone, you know, type in a, an email or a, a post or something, you know, Anshu Krista Jacobson, I have a question. I'm honored that, that that's recognized and that uh, they see that I have persevered and I have came from a very dark part of my life to um, present the martial arts and, and the instruction uh, that I do today. Which is why I wanted to do the Buddha to you. That, that is why I wanted to do it. I overcome this dark part of my life, and martial arts gave me the strength and, and the, um, the strength and the, and, and the ability and the confidence to go out and be who I am as a person. And I just want to share that with other people. I want to be able to have a student to walk in and there's something they want to achieve in life, whether it's being a police officer or a writer or a director or an actor or, you know, a teacher or whatever it is that they want to pursue with their life. You know, everyone has their own different goals. And I know that the martial arts has helped me through a very dark part of my life and, and has helped me become successful um, and helped me be able to provide a very good service to a lot of people. And I want to be able to share that, and I want to be able to give that that confidence and that that feeling to another person, so that they can take that and then they can achieve the things that they want, regardless of whatever it is, you know, whether it's writing a book, uh, being a police officer or a teacher or whatever that they want to pursue. I think that I want to be able to do that. I want to help people be who they want to be, and um, I can tell you that even though after all this change, after all these things. You know, Shar and I are still happily together, still living in the same house. This is actually a spare bedroom in our house. Uh, I like it because the light comes in this way, so it makes the, the screen look a little better. Um, but, um, yes, for some reason, people like to attack my gender. And they like to call me Chris, and they like to say he, and they like to say him, and they like to poke fun at me. I just want to make one thing clear. When you make fun of someone because of their race, their religion, their gender, or their sex, that is hate. That is harassment. That is prejudiced. So let's back up a little bit and let me explain how this whole process went through, okay? In 2007, I believe it was 2007, it could have been 2008, I'm not for sure, somewhere in there, 2007 to 2009, let's, let's go with that. Uh, there was a forum named Bullshito that just hammered the hell out of me and, they made, and it was a specific individual here in Kansas City that made a lot of um, malicious and abusive statements about me and my gender and tried to attack that to make me seem all of a sudden not qualified to teach the martial arts. Anytime you have to attack something about someone and then that in itself is supposed to aid your argument as whether they're qualified or not, you're, that clearly makes you look a little uneducated. It makes you look very weak. From, from this particular post on Bullshito, um, the question of my gender has always been online. I've always um, left it alone. I've never addressed it. I've never put it on a website um, because I don't think it matters. What I'm advertising to people is I'm saying that I teach martial arts. I'm going to help people try to find out who they are. I'm going to help people try to be better people. That has absolutely nothing to do with gender. And um, my sexual orientation and my gender has absolutely nothing to do with whether I'm a good martial art teacher or whether my school uh, provides a 
a very good quality instruction and a good curriculum that people can learn from. It doesn't. My gender has absolutely nothing to do with that. And the people that try to hammer me about that is doing nothing but harassment and hating. And again, hate should not be tolerated. After the post with uh, Bullshido, many of the many of the other martial art forums had caught on as well. Ibudo had posted something about me. Um, martial Planet posted something about me, and they're all making fun of the gender and you know poking prod and making fun of me, trying to belittle me and my gender to make it appear like I'm not qualified to teach martial arts. Um, you know, I never worried about it. I tried to take the high road and kept moving forward. From this high road, the individual that went by uh, Scott Bayo is dead on YouTube. Um, Dean, Mr. Dean Eckler. He came after me hardcore. He still does. He makes fun of me all the time. He tries to belittle my gender and he calls me a man and he does this and this. It's absolutely absurd. It's hateful. It's harassment. And, you know, I'm not quite for sure what his objective is with doing it. You know, I'm really not for sure. So, um, you know, I can't change the fact that I'm a transgendered woman. Uh, no matter what I do, that will never change. So, I mean, if, you, if people want to make fun of me, I, I guess go ahead and make fun of me. I think it's a little childish. I, I don't know that it has any, has any relevance towards the fact that I teach martial arts or that I have a, um, a, a quality curriculum for children and, and adults to learn from and better themselves in the martial arts. I don't think it has anything to do with that. Um, but for some reason, this individual really, really, really went after me. He started making videos about me in 2009. And, um, you know, here and there, some of them been removed for copyright infringement. Um, but he started making videos about me in 2009, and it's 2013. Okay, it's been four years. Four years, and he is still making videos about me. I mean, I would think that after so much, you would just figure that, you know, you've said enough, you know? The question is, when you do the same thing over and over again, you know what I mean, and you expect a different result, what is that called? You know what I mean? God, the guy's made how many videos, questions and answers, answer my questions. He's not the Budo police, you know? I don't have to answer any questions to him. He has absolutely no power at all. Nothing. He has none. Um, I can do what I would like to do with my martial arts school, whether he likes it or not. Um, I am a woman, whether he likes it or not. I have a family. I have a house. I have cars. I have two dogs. I live on my own. I don't live in my mother's basement. Um, I do own a business. I am very successful. None of that's going to change, regardless of how much he tries to attack me or my gender on the forums. It doesn't matter. I think, like, he made this petition on um, change.org, I think it's called. And on change.org, you can see that he signed a lot of things. I mean, hell, he's very active on signing petitions and getting petitions going and, and trying to get things going. Um, you know, he attacks me as a transgendered woman. Yet, three months ago... Three months ago, he signed a petition to promote gay-straight alliance. He's pro-gay rights, you know. And I know many people, and I'm not saying that this is true. I know that many people have told me that he that he is that he's gay. Um, whether he's gay or straight, I don't particularly care whether which one he is. But I mean, three months ago, he signed the petition to support gay rights, gay-straight alliance, and gay rights in New Jersey. But then he hammers me over my gender. And then on top of that, 10 months ago, he supported the human rights campaign, which is huge with the LGBT community, with les lesbian, bi bisexual, um, gay, transgendered community. It's a huge campaign. He supported the human rights campaign to um, petition to repeal the defense of marriage, to defend, to, to defend gay rights. He, he signed a petition to say, I think, you know, gay people should be able to be married. He supports gay marriage. He signed a gay straight alliance. He's, he supports the human rights campaign. And, you know, he did roll around on YouTube in a red thong. Hell, I haven't done that. And, you know, you know what I mean? And then he hammers me over my gender. I, I am shocked. I'm just like, really, you know? Dang. If you guys don't believe me with the signing of these petitions on change.org, if you just go there, you can clearly see the Dean Eckler that posted the, um, the video and the petition to take down my book, Shinobi no Michi, if you click on his name, it'll show you every petition and everything he's done on that website. It will. That same account. And that same account, the same man that made a video saying, take down Shinobi no Michi, it's a worthless book. The same guy that did that and slanders my gender and slanders my, me as a woman 
is pro-gay rights and supports gay marriage in New Jersey. I don't understand I, how you're gonna, how you bash me for being transgendered, but you support gay rights. I mean, the LGBT is a huge community, and it's almost like you know, you know, don't get me wrong, you can believe what you want, but I mean, I just like you know, I find it very hard, hard that usually anybody in the the LGBT, the uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgendered group, you know, we all pull for one another and help each other out. You know, you don't go pro gay marriage, you know, pro gay straight alliance rights, and then say, no, I don't like transgendered people. But the simple fact is, none of that matters. None of that has anything to do with my integrity, my honor, and my dedication to teaching good quality martial arts to my students who walk in wanting to learn these martial arts. My gender has absolutely nothing to do with the teachings of the martial arts that I teach to my students. And anybody who thinks that it does, they have an issue. I did get harassed and attacked by bullshito forums. I didn't get harassed and attacked by eBudo and Marshall Planet and many other martial art forums online. I did get taken advantage of by Anthony Cummins. Yeah, you want me to answer that one? I did. No question. You know, I did. And I'm sure he'll make a video saying about how neutral he is. He's not. You know, I'm a transgendered woman. I'm happily married. I've been married now for 14 years. I have a loving family. I own a house. I own two cars. I have two dogs. I own a business. I own an online business that's very successful. I am a professional model. I am in the um, exotic and erotic arts as well. Some people don't like that. That isn't going to change. And I'm not going to stop teaching the martial arts that I've dedicated all these years to just because someone wants to make fun of me. When you see someone saying, you know, Chris made this and Chris did that and he wrote a book and he did this, that's just being mean. That's being malicious. That's being hateful. It really is. I can't imagine a martial art teacher having a student walk on his floor and know that he is belittling and hating on someone because of their gender. I mean, you know, I'm shocked that he is a member of any dojo. I, I really am. I'm, 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 I'm shocked. That's amazing that any martial art teacher would accept that as acceptable behavior to show the quality of instruction and discipline that that teacher gives their student. Man, I'll tell you what, if one of my students did that, they'd be gone. There are no question about it. So, no, my name is not Chris Jacobson. My name is Krista Jacobson. I am a woman. You guys can call me Miss Jacobson, Sensei, Krista, Anshu, whatever you want to call me, I don't care. I'm not a man. If you guys address me as a man, then clearly you're being hateful. And if you're going to be hateful, I'm not going to respond back. If someone was being hateful towards any specific race, I would not be part of that conversation. If someone wants to be hateful towards any religion, I would not be part of that conversation. If someone wants to be hateful because of someone's sexual orientation or their gender, I would not be part of that conversation or group, you know? Which leads me to get up to the ending of this video, okay? If you're looking for a martial arts school that will support you and will accept you for who you are, whether you're gay, whether you're straight, transgendered, whatever, it doesn't matter. If you're looking for a martial arts school that will help you and will embrace and accept you for who you are, I can guarantee you this is a school for you. If you're looking for a school that will focus more on not what you do, but how you do it, you know, focus on trying to have self-empowerment, self-motivation, self-discipline. If you like to study traditional Japanese martial arts and learn the ways of the samurai and the ninja, but you also want to learn realistic modern self-defense and modern applications to how you can protect yourself from the ones you love now in the current day, that's what we do. Like I've said in many of my videos, I'm not the conventional teacher. I, I will never be the conventional teacher. And the reason I'll never be the conventional teacher is because I'm going to be me. I like being me. I like my life. I love my family. I love my house and, my, and everything I have. I love my business. I love my students. I love all you guys online that support me. You know, and I'm not going to stop being me just because a few people hate the kind of person that I am. I'm not going to stop being me. My name is Krista Jacobson. I am the headmistress of the Budo Di Dojo. The teachings of these seven traditions will continue as long as I'm breathing. And anybody with a good heart and an open mind that wants to be accepted for who they are and not feel like they have to hide themselves behind some false image of society, they just want to come into a family atmosphere and be accepted, is more than welcome in my dojo. If you have a good heart and you're a good person, I'll be more than happy to work with you in the arts.
I hope this answers your questions. Thank you guys very much for your time. Take care, be safe, and uh, good luck in your journey of Buddha.